Hello everyone and welcome to an overview of installing the Jira Service Desk and Jira Cloud plugin. So there is a few housekeeping components that we need to make on the device 42 side prior to installing the plugin. So if you are following along with me, I want you to first make sure that you go to Tools, Settings, and Global Settings. And within Global Settings, if you haven't used an external integration before, like Jira Cloud, Jira Service Desk, ServiceNow, at the bottom of the global settings is our external integration settings. So you would need to make sure this is populated. A few pieces that you would need to fill out here. D42 URL for SaaS apps. This is expecting the host name. Uh, so I do recommend applying a host name in FQDN to your device 42 appliance. This could also be the IP address of your device 42 VM. The only thing that is key here is that it is unique to you uh, and it should be in the same format. Uh, now, it, that URL will be used and presented in Jira Service Desk. So any URLs and clickback links from Jira to device 42 is gonna reference that link. So you do wanna make sure it is reachable by clients accessing the device 42 and Jira integration. Uh, your company name and email address, and really this is going to then register your instance on our cloud connector. And we leverage that cloud connector to keep your on-premise device 42 VM anonymous uh, to the internet, even though it is making a connection. We are going to communicate through our cloud connector to Atlassian's API and obfuscate that connection. So you only need to connect to the device 42 cloud connector directly. Once you have completed the external integration settings and supply those resources, you can save that. And then we are going to navigate to tools, integrations, external integrations. So from here is where I'm going to supply the details for my Jira service desk or Jira cloud instance. So here I would supply my URL. And of course, do also include the HTTPS prefix within that to allow authentication. Now it's like that type as Jira cloud and that is going to create a verification token here. At this point, I can now save that, do copy down the verification token, or you can come back to the external integrations page to view that. We will need that in the setup on the JIRA side. All right, and from your JIRA service desk or JIRA cloud portal, you'll need to make sure you are an administrator and that you can navigate to the apps management portal uh, from here, we can find new apps and search for device free to you. And you'll find it right there, device for two CMDB for Jira service desk. And we plug that in and add that. And that is going to take a brief minute to install that and make available in our manage apps. I'll expand that after it's been installed and click on configure here. And now if you kept that verification token, You'll want to make sure you plug that in here, and that is going to authenticate your device 42 details with your Jira instance. And once that's been linked, from that point, you can then run a sync, and that is going to call the detail that's been specified in the external integration. So if we go back to device 42 for a moment, within the external integration itself, if I click on the existing one here, and I go to edit, a few things you'll notice. By default, it's going to include a few different docal queries that we sync. So there's a couple that we include natively out of the box here. So you'll notice D42 Jira Cloud Sync with different config information. So I can select devices, which will include by default, as well as end users, purchases, buildings, application components, whatever data I care about syncing to Jira. Now, in this case, I've actually selected a custom Docal that fits more of our use case. We're including some additional columns and affinity groups. So feel free to modify those existing queries and add columns and data that you care about. And our documentation goes into Docal at a bit more detail, uh, which will be better suited outside of this session. Once that's been done and it's saved, if you needed to modify the Docal syncs at all or running with the default, you can go back and it'll go through a sync here and you can just do a quick sync. If I do a run sync, it's just gonna sync any new items or items that have changed from device 42. If I do a full sync, that is gonna pull in absolutely everything again. Uh, and if for any reason I want to remove what has synced before, I change those sync queries, I can remove all assets or remove anything that's not linked to a JIRA incident. 
All right, so I've now gone back to our incident, incident view where I can see any of the issues that we have open or as I create issues. And Jira includes for both Jira Service Desk and Jira Cloud a default asset linked assets field. And here is actually going to be where that integration uh, corresponds to. So I have some linked assets from within Jira and I can click on link asset and search for any assets that have synced over and select them within our Jira ticket. And that is going to show the information that has been synced over included in that query. So by default, it's going to include all of your inventory relevant details about that device or if it's software application, the typical values that are used, again, that you can modify to your use case. So I now have linked that asset to that ticket. At the bottom, I can also get a link directly back to device 42. So I can go ahead and click on view in device 42. And it's going to pull up my device 42 environment, bring me right to that object, that device, software, whatever I've selected. And at the bottom here, what you'll notice is section for JIRA. And I can actually see the different incidents that it's been linked to. And additionally, instead of linking it from JIRA, I can go in the other direction. I can link an existing incident from a device or any object record, or I can create a new incident as well. So I'll search for my project select that and it's going to pull down the fields from Atlassian's API relevant to that project. I can select different types, the assignees I want, and provide a summary and description for the issue I want to create from Jira as well as add any attachments and that'll then open that up in Jira. Thanks everybody for checking this out. Of course if you have any questions feel free to reach out to Device42. Have a great day.